In this video, I will measure the actual color temperature of three lights I have. First one is the Nanlite Compact 20. This model is supposed to be 5600 Kelvin, degrees Kelvin. Next one, Viltrox RB08. This is fully adjustable. 2500 on up to maybe 8000 Kelvin. Right now it's at 5600 Kelvin. Lastly, will be the ICANN on camera spot. This is something you put on your camera. It's supposed to be daylight balance. For some reason, the specs say it's over 5900 degrees Kelvin. But this goes on the camera for a reporter or something. Good thing is that this light has barn doors, CTO for balancing for tungsten, and diffusion built in. Be nice if there were four barn doors, but that's better than nothing. First one will be the NAN light. You can see. built-in stand. It's non-dimmable, the downside, but it's only about 50 bucks. It's pretty slim and it's supposed to be balanced at 5600 Kelvin color temperature. This camera right now is set to manual uh, white balance to daylight right now. So it should be, should look white, look neutral. I'm going to shut my room light. Alright, so now the only light on is the NAN light. And I'm going to use a, an app to measure the color temperature. Um, so on this front camera, it's showing 5530, 5530 Kelvin, when it's supposed to be 5600. Not bad, not bad. Let me flip the uh, to the front camera on the phone and tell you what it's showing. Right now it's showing... 5382 5382 front camera back camera 56 so maybe this front camera right now or back camera is more accurate I'm not sure but this is showing 5607 as you can see The other side shows 5380. So it looks like there's a variance on depending on which camera I use on the phone. But something does show around 56. Give it the benefit of the doubt. Now I'm going to do the Viltrox and I'm going to take off the diffusion. And block in the light. Okay. 5600. Up to 100% power. Shut off the other light. This is showing me 5465 when the setting right now is at 56. 
It's at 5600. Right now it's showing 5380. It's about two, over 200 Kelvin differential. Let's try the front camera. Front camera is 5548. Fifty-five thirty-three. So the front camera looks closer for some reason to what it should be, but it's still fifty-six forty for the front. The other camera is fifty-three eighty-two, and this is supposed to be fifty-six hundred right now. That's what it's set at on the light. It's close. Off by less than a hundred. Let's try the third light. Okay, so it looks like there's a range from about 54, 35, to about 6,000. Let's try the front camera. Fifty seven, fifty eight, fifty six hundred, fifty five hundred. So this one definitely is cooler, higher color temperature, sometimes up to six thousand, over six thousand. And you can kind of tell if I turn on all the lights. Kind of tell the difference. On the left, nan light. Right now, that's the nan light. On the right. That's the Viltrox. And then on top in the middle, that's the ICANN. You can tell the ICANN looks the coolest. And this Viltrox looks slightly warmer than the Nanolite on the left. So for this, you can adjust it. The good thing is you can adjust the color temperature. I would adjust it up a little. So they look closer in color temperature. Should be about 6,000. So I'd turn this to 6,000. It's more or less, more or less the same. A little lower. 58. Get it to match. This one is cooler. Good thing about the Viltrox is you can adjust the color temperature and you can dim it. So even if it's off, it's not accurate, you can at least adjust it to match your other lights. So yeah, I think Viltrox 
it's set to 6,000 is more or less the same as this NAN light, which is supposed to be about 5,600. So this Viltrox is off by about 400. 